All right, so this is my review of the Fanatic. So you can see that there, uh, the Nancy Wilson uh, Epiphone. Um, got good and bad to tell you about this. Um, let's go over the good first. Uh, everybody likes the good. Good brings on happy feelings. We all like to be happy, right? So the good, uh, the fret work was amazing. Um, and, and at this price point that, that I paid for this, uh, yeah, it was really good. I mean, there's no sharp edges. There was no gritty when you did any bends. Everything was smooth. The binding, uh, really clean. There's no uh, bleed over of the color onto the binding. Um, strength through body, I love that. Uh, I'm a telly guy, so it kind of makes me feel at home having that. Uh, five-way selector switch on two humbuckers it's great uh, don't really like the way the middle position when you when both humbuckers are together it only does them when they're in split mode you can't get both of them full-blown humbucker don't really like that but we can deal with it we can rewire we can carry on uh, tuning wise g-strings an issue um, is what it is. I mean, anytime you buy this brand or the big American brand that's associated with it, you know you're going to be playing with that G-string. Um, is what it is. We'll deal with it. We'll, uh, I'll check the nut later on and see if it uh, needs to be uh, filed out a little bit. Maybe we can put some graphite in it or something and we'll carry on. Is what it is. So, you know, that's the good. Uh, bad Let, let's get there um so and i will let you hear it when i'm done but the bad is when i got it the neck position the neck pickup wasn't working at all in any position so i pulled the the back uh, plate off and i'm glad i did because the wiring in there the soldering was horrible there was burn marks all over several wires in there with the soldering iron I just been touching stuff. Um, wasn't real impressed with that. I, and I've had other epis, you know, I had a loose seal and something else. And I, I was happy with them. And they didn't have any flaws and like like that, you know. Um, yeah. So I, one of the wires was burnt. It was laying over another pole on the five-way selector switch. Uh, and that was causing it to short it out. I moved it off. Uh, wow, we've got a, a neck pickup. Um, it's a very dark sounded neck pickup, but we've got a neck pickup. Um, yeah, so all's good and grand in guitar land. Uh, then my next little issue I had was about two days after I got this, I noticed the, the polycoat is cracking on the neck. Uh, starting at the corner of the nut where it, uh, bumps up to the fretboard coming down there's about an inch and a half crack now I tried to film this earlier it doesn't show it uh, on camera but it's there uh, you can definitely feel it and you can definitely see it it's not in the wood it's just the poly coat um, now I did reach out uh, to the online company I bought this guitar from there's no big stores around where I live I gotta drive an hour and a half to get to a big name brand store uh, so I bought it online uh, no big deal I've bought lots of guitars and several amps through through this company and, and I'll just tell you I bought it through Zounds um, this thing hit the market I seen it I drooled I bought it um, I bought a lot of gear from them over the years but I think it all stops now with this one just because of what happened uh, I reached out to them about the poly coat cracking on the neck and in not so many words they told me not our problem we don't we don't cover that they sent me a copy of the warranty from Epiphone and Epiphone says uh, your dime uh, ship it to us your dime we'll ship it back in the meantime we'll look at it and see if we want to do anything with it if not, uh, steal your dime to ship it back. That don't work for me. 
Um, so this will be, you know, the last uh, last thing I buy from buy from them, from Ampy and and from Zounds. Uh, I've never never had any issue, and I've bought a lot of guitars. And I think I've only sent one back over the years. I had a Ball Hall Telly, and that thing fretted out all over the place. And from what I understand, it, it was an issue with some of them. And I, I had one of them, and I that thing had an amazing V-neck. That's another story for another day. Anyway, so I got the run around on this. Um, is it the end of the world? No, it's a crack in the poly coat. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I mean, it's a $530 guitar. Um, and it came with a really nice hard shell case. Uh, in some ways, uh, the way I look at it, I bought a really nice case and they gave me a guitar. And then I'm not too upset. Uh, is what it is. You know, life goes on. Still a good day. Still woke up on the right side of the dirt. Still breathing. So we're doing all right, you know. Um, going forward, we'll throw some Seymours in it. Some American uh, pots and the switch, and we'll be all right, man. Uh, it's a little crack. Uh, we'll go on, and in the future, I'll just uh, order from Sweetwater. Life will be good. Uh, but let's do a little sound so you can hear it. I'm not going to do anything crazy. i uh, got it on... Uh, a relatively clean setting uh, on my Vox. Uh, so we're going to start all the way down. This is going to be the bridge pickup split. So. <laughs> and we'll go up one click and that'll give us the bridge and full humbucker. One more click, and that's going to give us both humbuckers in split mode. So we'll go up one more, and that's going to give us the neck mini humbucker in split mode. switch up to uh, the last position and that's going to give us full-blown uh, mini humbucker. So there it is, the Fanatic. Uh, try one. You may like it. I mean, other than the couple of things I, I've experienced, I like the guitar. I mean, it's got a thin D neck uh, with a fender scale and a couple of humbuckers on a smaller, less Paul type body. Uh, it's definitely uh, definitely smaller. It's got a tummy cut, super comfortable, it's got to play. The thickness, I, it's somewhere between a, a Les Paul and an SG for thickness. Uh, it's really well balanced, really. Uh, if it would have been for the two little issues I had, Man, I'd love this guitar. And I still will, I guess, going forward. I shouldn't say I'd love it if, if it didn't have those issues because I still like it. You know, this is easily remedied. I'm going to take it out anyway. I don't keep stock pickups in anything. Um, Seymour's for everything. So this will get switched. Tuners will probably get switched out anyway. I mean, they're, they're just uh, cheap Chinese tuners. I mean, you don't you don't expect a lot from them. It's probably pot metal or something. So we'll put something good on it. Uh, I believe it's a Graph Tech nut, so I'm good there. Uh, no complaints there. And uh, the crack in the poly is not the end of the world, like I said. I'm just upset with, with Zounds for the, you know, I bought a lot of gear and to be treated that way. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go to Sweetwater going forward. And all will be good and grand in the world of guitar land. So, uh, yeah, the, the Fanatic, man, go out and try one. You may really like it. You may not. I do, other than these little things. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good one.